undercover police prostitution sting is shedding light on an often hidden world. Thanks for staying with us tonight. I'm Bridget Shanahan. New tonight, investigators say prostitution directly relates to our region's ongoing struggles with heroin addiction. WPTZ's Jack Thurston spoke with law enforcement officials to find out why. They came to this hotel in South Burlington, Vermont, one by one, police say. Seven men looking to meet a prostitute for sex. The accused Johns had found her through an online ad, but it was a sting. An undercover officer was waiting to arrest them. What we have to do is raise awareness. Chittenden County State's Attorney T.J. Donovan declined to prosecute, saying the seven had been shamed enough, preferring instead to educate the men about the often sad realities of prostitution in a class they took Tuesday morning here at the courthouse. We can't separate the issue of prostitution from the heroin epidemic that's happening in this state. Donovan says many prostitutes are drug addicts desperate to feed their habits. He still remembers the case of Crystal Jones. The 16-year-old from Burlington was a chronic runaway in foster care who was found murdered in New York City in 2001. Investigators at the time said she had been roped into a life of selling sex by traffickers who exploited her desire for money to buy heroin. These are tragedies that we can avoid. The issue of prostitution is not about sex. This is about heroin. This is about violence against women. South Burlington is a busy city of more than 18,000. It's right on Interstate 89, and there are lots of hotels and motels here. Police have a philosophy in this city. When they encounter suspected sex workers in those hotels, they treat them as victims. They don't want to arrest the prostitutes. Their end game is to go after the pimps. Our goal is to keep people safe. Officer Chris Bataille says it's hard to tell how much prostitution is really going on because most people involved just don't come forward. But he does say several recent calls for assaults and robberies have involved prostitutes, often with heroin paraphernalia at the scenes. Do you supply these women with information on drug treatment? We, we always try to. We always try to. They definitely can overlap. Edith Klamoski educates police, doctors, and others about the impacts of human trafficking and says heroin is just one of many ways women and men, too, are used or sexually exploited through coercion or force. But she said a new education campaign in Vermont will let people know help is available through calling 211 or 1 888 98 HUMAN. It is a global issue. Police and prosecutors believe reminding the public prostitution goes hand in hand with drugs and violence may start turning the tide and make for safer communities. In South Burlington, Jack Thurston, WPTZ News Channel 5.